What is up everybody? Movie review here and happy October. So this month I'm going to be just reviewing some horror movies, you know, maybe some science fiction kind of movies, anything I like to personally watch around this time of year. And I've been wanting to talk about this movie since I first saw it, which was honestly only uh, probably earlier this year, uh, towards the beginning of the year. And it's kind of quickly becoming one of my favorite movies of all time. So, yeah, let's talk about that. So, first of all, let's kind of talk about the plot of this movie. It's about two friends. Jack and David are your two characters in this movie, and they're taking a trip to London. Um, on the way there, they kind of stumble across this, this really weird, kind of sketchy uh, pub. They pretty much hit the road, they get, they're, they're getting out of there. And while they're leaving, uh, Jack, one of the friends, is actually killed. And that's not a spoiler, because this is in the first, you know, like 15 minutes of the movie, so it's not a spoiler. And David lives uh, the attack uh, by this werewolf, um, and now he kind of has the curse. So now he's the werewolf, and that's pretty much where you get your movie title from. It's American Werewolf in London. Why, 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 why do I love this movie? Why, why does it click with me so much? I think the reason it really works is because it, it is a horror movie, but at the same time, it's it's a, it's a comedy. The '80s was kind of when the horror comedy craze first kind of started. Before that, you didn't really have that. No one, I don't, I don't think anyone thought to put those two things together, and I think that's really why this movie works. The characters are very likable. They talk like, you know, real human beings. The, the situation that David finds himself in is certainly a predicament that no one would want to be in and he reacts as such and there's a lot of, the, there's a really great uh, scene when he kind of, when it, when it hits him and he kind of, you know, reacts to the fact that he is indeed a werewolf. The attack scene in the beginning of the movie is actually shot really well. Um, the suspense really builds and you know you don't know what side the, the werewolf is going to attack from and it really does build suspense and then when you finally think alright, like they're safe, you know, wham, it hits you and you know just the editing and, and how it's shot is just super fast paced and really you know kinetic and crazy and it really puts you in that perspective and it's actually really well done. and actually scary. It's, it's, it's a scary scene and I think that's why another reason this movie really works is that it can be really funny and it can be really scary and I think that's one reason this movie really works is I think it's a perfect kind of entry level horror movie. I mean it has gore of course but it's not you know so terrifying and it's not filled with jump scares you know. There's some good dramatic moments in here and I think it's just kind of a perfect blend of everything I personally like in a movie, you know, you got fantastic practical effects. You cannot talk about this movie without talking about the amazing practical effects in this movie. The scene that seals the deal is the transformation scene. The transformation scene in this movie is, it, it, is, it is actually perfect. Um, it, and it doesn't reveal it right, you know what I mean? It's not like, you know, it keeps it in shadows and, you know, minor spoilers. You don't see the werewolf in full until, you know, the the very last act of the movie. So I think that's another thing that this movie does really well is it builds suspense. It doesn't just, you know, he doesn't get bit, become a werewolf and start killing people in the first, you know, half an hour. It's, it's a very slow burn, and, but by the time you get to that final act, you're really invested, you, you care about, you know, the characters and what happens to them. Obviously, people get killed and they're mostly, you know, innocent people. You sympathize with David because he's not really in control of, of what he's doing. One last thing I want to talk about is just the ending. I'm not going to spoil the ending, so don't worry. Just in case you don't want to know anything about the ending or anything like that, go ahead and check this movie out. It's absolutely fantastic. I can't recommend it enough. So definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. So now let's talk about the, the, the ending. When I first watched it, I actually didn't really care for the ending very much. It's very abrupt, and I mean that, like it just 
it just cuts. But I think that was kind of, you know, the point. I'm sure people much smarter than I can find, you know, a, a very artistic uh, reason for why it cuts. So when I first watched the movie, I didn't really like the ending. But I think now I appreciate it a little bit more. I do kind of like the, the abruptness of it. It's not always going to be a happy ending kind of thing. I didn't, I didn't love the ending. I still don't love the ending, you know, but it's, um, yeah, yeah. It's all I can, it's all I can say about that. That's going to do it for this review, guys. Like I said, try and keep these short. And by the time you're seeing this, we'll be through the first week of uh, October. So by the time you're seeing this, hopefully I have more filmed. And then I can just start kind of putting them out and editing them because I love Halloween and uh, we're just getting started. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll see you next time.